Welcome to VideoAnt. VideoAnt is a University of Minnesota learning technology and is also a mobile and desktop video annotation tool. In VideoAnt you'll be able to annotate YouTube videos. It is currently in version 3.0 and it also includes an Ant farm where you can see projects that were shared with you, your own projects, and other ants that are publicly available. It also allows you to use private YouTube videos as well as create private annotation projects. To use VideoAnt, go to ant.umn.edu and click Launch VideoAnt. Here you'll be able to either sign in as a guest or sign in using your X100, your Google ID, your Facebook ID, or your Twitter ID. We recommend, if possible, to sign in using your X100. In this case, I am already signed in. Otherwise, you will have an X100 sign-in screen. Here, all you'll have to do is copy the link to a YouTube video to start an annotation project. It can be your video or somebody else's video. Let's just grab the trailer for Marvel Captain America, for example. You'll just copy the link, copy, Control C or Command C, and then paste. Load video, you can add the title for the end and start annotating. Here you'll be able to play the video and add annotations where you want to make a comment if you are making a comment for edit purposes or making a comment for information purposes. Wherever you want to make a comment, press add annotation and that will be added to that point in the timeline. Is helpful when you are, for example, working in a video project together and working in a speech together or working in, in any type of uh, video editing project as well. This is an example of a video edit project. Here I added cuts to where everybody started speaking, so I could go there and hear a particular speaker. And as you can see, you can also add subsequent so comments to it as well. One of the aspects of this comment, however, is that you'll notice that I can edit the first comment, but I cannot edit the subsequent comments. But it does make markers in a timeline, so anybody that has access to this project will be able to quickly navigate through it and see the comments that are relevant to that point in the timeline. And here you can have a conversation regarding the changes you want to make in a video, the suggestions you have for somebody, etc. You can share this, export them as text, for example. Here are all the comments, and you can see that where in the timeline they are, or in other ways as well, XML, JSON, RSS. And to annotate this video, somebody would just need this URL, or to view it, they would need this URL. Currently, this project, for example, is public and anybody can annotate it. If you create a video and project of your own video, you probably will have to go to YouTube to sign into YouTube first with your X100 in this case. And then when you join your YouTube account, you will have to go to your video manager, click on the down arrow, video manager and then select edit usually of the video that you want to copy a URL for you can also open it but here you'll have more information you can then copy that URL and use that URL to start a new end title it start annotating so it's pretty simple it's a couple clicks and then if I wanted to share that project with somebody, all I would have to do is type their email here or just copy and paste this in an email or a Moodle assignment. In this case, we're asking you to post it in Moodle within the workshop. So copy the annotate URL and share that within the workshop. If you have any questions about this project, please let us know. And I hope you enjoy using Video Annotate. As you can see, it allows you to do quite a lot in terms of annotating video. Thanks.